So I just want to make a quick video on the documentary for the Taiwan KM Challenge last year. Last year, a lot of you guys um, contributed to the funds for allowing us to go do the Taiwan KM Challenge, and I'm still very grateful for that. That was fucking awesome. And I won't be doing the challenge this year simply because I don't have the funds to go myself. And um, it wouldn't be fair to ask you guys um, for money to go again because, I mean, we've been there, we've done that. And the results are pretty predictable. I, th I don't think I'm going to be able to do much better than that. 28th place is what I can do full nanny. And, uh, you know, I can do some altitude training, but I really don't think it's going to make that, ma that much of a difference. Probably like five minutes on the time. Because it's still... It just is what it is, you know. I don't think your body can adapt to that kind of altitude. It's not meant to to ride at that kind of alt altitude um, all the time. So... What happened to the footage? Why wasn't the documentary released? Um, I'm not here to cause any tension, not here to cause any conflict, create drama or anything. I just want to be 100% objective and um, read what was said. So I asked him what happened with the footage, why wasn't the docker released? And this is what he said on, on Messenger. He said, I just don't think it turned out, especially seeing um, what happened with Sam. Um, there's none of the actual race, only when you guys drop off and the finish line. The other stuff is random clips that aren't very good, and they've been split on four different SD cards, one of which we lost somehow. So one of the cards was lost. And he said, I'd send you the footage, but I don't know how to because it's so large and I think that Sam is too busy to make it right now. So yeah there is not there isn't really like a good way that you can send the footage um you could probably send it over dropbox or um google drive but it's going to take a long time because you have to split the files unless you buy like um, extra storage but anyway um so basically tim feels that um the footage that we got wasn't good enough and it doesn't make the cut so my opinion is um I'd say still make the just make the documentary even though the results went great and there wasn't really much footage of the race you can still use uh, footage from many of the YouTube videos that are on YouTube from the race and I, I still say you can make a pretty good docker even if there's some missing footage just use what there is it doesn't even have to be long it can only be like 10 minutes and I mean, that probably takes, if you really want to make it pro, it can take like a third of a day to put together. So that's my opinion. Um, no one has to take action on it. I'm not saying you have to fucking do this. Um, I just want to share my side of the story. I just want to come clean because I don't want to um, make people feel like I didn't do anything to help the situation. I just want to share the information and you know, just be 100% objective, not spread any any rumors, any lies, anything like that. This is really what was said. And um, Tim also told me that uh, Sam made an Instagram post about it. Um, I checked Sam's Instagram post. I just saw there was something about the race uh, from last year, but I didn't see anything about the missing Goko. So um, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. I, I just probably didn't look um, well enough, but I'll go check on Instagram, see if I can find it. So yeah, that's just... Um, uh, another a more objective view of uh, why the docker wasn't produced but uh, yeah I hope you guys don't have any uh, bad feelings towards me um, my job was just to write <laughs> so um, I think I did the best that I could with the circumstances that were presented and uh, yeah thank you guys again for making it possible